What's up, guys? You are welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Oduduwa Republic gathers momentum after United Nations organization accepts its membership. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video now. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button. Click that bell icon to remain updated with all our latest news and updates. All right, here are the news in details. Professor Akinto Yebanjo, a, his, a history academics and the president of the Yoruba World Congress, has revealed in a statement sent to pressmen that the Yoruba people and Yoruba ethnic group has joined the marginalized nation, better known as Unrepresented Nations and People's Organization, UNPO. He made, he made known that the Yoruba nation was welcomed as the 45th member nation of the organization. He made known that joining UNPO will represent a very important way to achieve a goal of dignity and self-determination of the Yoruba nation. Professor Akinto Yebanjo, while showing his happiness about the development, he said the membership offered the Yoruba nation a voice of its own on international stage through the machinery of the international body that maintain a forever presence before the likes of United Nations, European Union, and United States of America. It should be noted that the Yoruba nation are the first people through their governors to create their own security outfit called Amoteku against forces, banditry, criminal to save people. The Yoruba nation are also doing everything to achieve their self-determination Although they did not clamor for the end of Nigeria, Ogbonilan, Ogbonilan is also a member of Unrepresented Nation and People's Organization. The Ogoni is an oil-rich land in the southeastern of River State. They joined after their protests against the Nigerian government and Shell Company when it spilled uh, over their land and their water was unsafe to drink. The Secretary General of UNPO, Ralph Bonche, expressed his joy to welcome the, group, the Yoruba nation as a new member of the body and look forward to having a good relationship with the body. Professor Akinto Yebanjo said the Yoruba nation will have the opportunity to participate in election monitoring, sport activities, worldwide cultural festival, and others. Joining UNPO means that, like Catalonia in Spain, the Yoruba nation can form a parliament and raise its own flag. Being a member of this great body can also make the member have its own independent nation. Wow, uh, this is a very... Uh, Big time breakthrough for Dudua um, agitators. They have been able to get a breakthrough and get registered with UNPO. Uh, you get me? So, and um, UNPO simply means Unrepresented Nation and People's Organization. You get it is not actually a United Nation, it's not actually a United Nation a body. But it's a global body. It's actually a global body, but recognized by the United Nations. Usually, a lot of um people who have gotten uh, their self agitation, you get brought before Un United Nations Council, Security Council, all started from this UNPO. You get they they are going to fight for you. They are going to lobby for you. You get me? They are going to lobby to get your agitation to the international stage. So a lot of countries see it that it starts here. So uh, those countries currently agitating for their own homeland, you get me? They are up to 45 of them. And the Yoruba year is, Oduduwa Republic is the 45th. You understand me? Ethnic group that have indicated interest to join and they've joined. So, but the question one is asking right now is that, who is actually leading the Oduduwa Republic agitation? Who is leading? Because it appears everything is um uh, is just is just a void. Nobody we've not heard. Shewode is supposed to be the rightful person to have taken over this cause, but Shewode is canvassing for one Nigeria. So the question is, who is actually doing? You know, sometimes you look at some of these Yoruba agitators, they are not very strong. They are not resistive, you know. 
they don't form a very good resistance. If the federal government just cough, you discover that the whole thing will just burst like a bubble. Yes, it's going to burst like a bubble. Like, for instance, where is Amoteko? Where is Amoteko that the South uh, Western governors sat down, spent million or if not billion naira of taxpayers' money to form? Where are they today? Where is Amoteko? You get so you see that there are a whole lot of things that when once the federal government threatens, you know, a lot of them will just go underground. They will go underground. So that's what people are asking. Do they have the gut? Would they have the gut like like uh like Masop and IPOB? You get a lot of them have gone to prison. A lot have gone to be Warf Wazurik have gone to prison, and they kind of gone to prison. You get me? These guys stood their ground and utterly defended their agitation and the ideology. So, but will the Yoruba be able to actually do this? It's not just joining your Nazami in theory and you don't fight. When they say fight, we are talking about freedom fighter. You got to fight because if you don't fight, you won't get what you want. Normally, what you want will not just walk up to you. You need to fight. So, that is what is is happening here yeah. so people are looking at it that you know when biafran were initially agitating for it uh they although the war people did not actually support them and that can be seen you know a whole world did not support uh ojuku despite the fact that ojuku was the one who released him from prison ojuku i mean Bia, uh a whole world was in prison here in the southeast he was in prison here but a whole world released him i mean i'm sorry uh Ojuku released him with the understanding that once you reach, both of them will declare their own uh, nation. But you know what happened? A whole world turned and supported Nigeria. And so it has ever been up to this moment. And we are gradually seeing the colors of these people. Now, they have seen the color of the Fulanese. That the Fulani are not people you can claim one citizenship with. The Fulani sees you as the second class citizen. There is no two ways about it. They see you as a second class citizen. They claim that they conquered Nigeria and that Nigeria is their their prize. You get so that is it. So and you know, Lord Lugard made a mission a mistake during the amalgamation to forcefully measure this. Imagine making more than two hundred ethnic group to become one country. How do you forcefully just marry them off like that? That was a that was a mistake. That was an ecclesiastical mistake by by uh, Lugard to have forcefully married other people and you call them Nigeria without seeking their consent. And that is why Nigeria has never been a country. You get, this is a nation that has never been a country because everybody is not carried along. One group claim they are the owner of the country. They claim your resources. They claim everything you own and subject you to slavery and see you as a second class citizen that is where we find ourselves today and that is where a lot of people are self agitating and i'm telling you when once it reaches a time the most i have put under his own power nobody will stop the breakup of nigeria if it reaches that time it may take another five years 10 years 20 years but let it be known nigeria is sitting on a gunpowder that is ready to explode and one day it's gonna explode and once it explode it will explode both to the the south the southeast south south you understand me southwest the yoruba la middle belt you understand me they are nigeria will be fractionalized it will be fried because sometimes god gives people a longer time he doesn't answer prayer at times. He doesn't have prayer immediately. But when once he does, he does some certain, he answers some prayer at his own time. At his own time. And it's what Jesus said when they ask him, Lord, when will you return? He told them, that is not for you to know. The Father has put that under his own authority. So there are certain things that is, has been put under God's authority. And at its own time, it will come to pass. So what do you guys think? think about this the Yorubas have just registered with UNPO do you think that they will be able to resist and fight the federal government do you think they'll be able to fight the resistance from the river federal federal government because they are making a move the Oduduwa Republic is gathering momentum 
Biafra has been registered with UNPO. Now the Yoruba have joined. Do you think that the Yoruba will stand the resistance that is going to come from the federal might of the Republic of Nigeria? Are they will they be willing to stand? Who is their leader? That those are the questions we are asking now. So what do you guys think? I want you to drop your comment below. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.